Okay, so welcome back to another episode of my pre-FIFA 20 videos. Um, if you've already seen them, obviously let me know what you think below. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and we'll jump back straight into this one though. So what this video is, is just an idea behind whether you can... I don't know when the best time to do this trading method is, to be honest. It's always good early on, but I don't know if it's something that you're going to want to do on the web app or when the game first comes out. There's loads of things you can do, but it's just an easy way to get a few coins and sometimes pick yourself an absolute bargain, especially on the full release of the game. Um, so, what the idea behind this is picking up gold cards. I always go for Premier League because I know Premier League cards hold their price. Um, obviously, I can only show you on FIFA 19 kind of what's going on, so I don't know what the lowest buy now is. I'm assuming the market's completely plummeted and the lowest buy now is going to be kind of 400 coins. Even at 400 coins here, as you can see, they sell near enough instantly. Maybe last 5-10 minutes. There's not a lot of them. People still pick them up because Premier League players are wanted. So what the idea behind this um, is to go on a mass bidding of 300 coins. Or 350, for example. If the minimum buy now is at 600 coins, you go up to 400 coins. And then you match that lowest buy now. People will buy them. Um, but what you do is you just as you can see, I'll go 350 you just sweep 350 across the board if you can get a 300 in there go for it but I'm only going to do one page, there's no point doing masses on this this FIFA, it doesn't actually oh, God say, it doesn't show much for us doing that so as you can see you just bid, bid along Jesus, oh my god, I'm having an absolute mess. Right. Yeah, you just bid along all the players. Get the ones, obviously, you win. I have done it before where I've had, like, hundreds of thousands of coins in order to invest in this method. And what will happen is they go into your transfer targets. There's only so many you can have in your transfer targets, but it builds up. Um, once it's built up to a certain point, what you can do is you go into it, you got rid of all the expired ones, you take all the one ones and you relist them. So we won this one at 350. What you can do is compare price and say, right, where's the next cheapest? And 500 coins is the next cheapest, Shah. Obviously, I'm not too faced. I'm just going to list everything at 400. If someone picks up, there's still a profit in that for me, but it's minuscule and it's not a profit I'm going for. But the idea behind this is to get loads of small profits in order to make a larger one. So sometimes people obviously buy low, sell high, and sometimes buy low and sell a little bit higher. So aim for them small profit margins, but do loads of them. So this is more of like a side hustle as such. So you can do all your normal ones and then you can build up massively with this and um, have a few hundred gold non-shinies. In the meantime, you may pick up players for your team, especially at the beginning. Um, but you can do this on the side with a few thousand coins. With 1,000, you can do it. Just bid on a couple, play a game, come out. If you've won one, list it, sell it, and then you'll have another grand invest. And then you just keep your money working for you, rather than you working for it. Um, let's just have a look here. It looks like he's already sold. Oh, that's the Kante. I'll put a Kante on it. There we go. Yeah, so Shah's still there. But, um, as you can see here, we've got another four. So what you do, you just go in, come out. Um, you can just list 400 coins. He was at 300 as well. 350, 400, 350, 400. It's not going to break the bank. Like I'd be if if you're sat here looking for that method to make yourself millions, you can do it, but it's going to take you a long time. Um, I remember you used to be able to get kind of like I think it was it worked out about 120 coins after tax profit per card. So if you want to do a million by doing that. You're looking at about 8,300 cards to flip, which is just ridiculous. That's a lot. However, it can get you up to the point where your money's working for you, like I say, and you can reinvest it. So you can then buy yourself a new inform, improve the team. It all depends what you want to do. Um, I'm not here to stipulate what you do on your fever. I'm just here to give some advice of what I've done previously. Um, 
so yeah well that's kind of all for today so all you do is go on the market go gold pick your pick your team or your league Premier League pick one of the main nations uh, League 1 will probably be quite good because I know a lot of people aim for that for a cheap team um, aim for one of the main nations maximum price 300 350 all dependent on where that maximum buy now is so on here it's at 400 but I've put a few players up there now so you go at 400 sometimes you find a 350 when you're trying to check the price and you just pick it up and then you back out and you list it just like this I'm doing this on FIFA 19 that's why I'm quite blasé and I don't care if the coins go because I don't use it anymore um, so yeah just do that find out what your minimum um, buy it now is or your maximum buy it now but the lowest of that and then go along and just sweep bidding so just 300 coins across the board in my case and then s or 350 but sell at 400 so minimum profit um, so if I'm selling at 400 coins I'm getting 80 coins profit if they're at 300 or 30 at 350 um, but that's if you pick up 10 players so if you invest 3 grand you get 800 coins back in profit which is good well to me that's good I'm happy with that and I'm happy to keep doing that as a side hustle alongside playing games so you just bid a load play a game come out transfer bid a, game, bid a load play a game come out transfer and obviously with each game you're, in, you're increasing your um, your cash flow so you're increasing that budget that you can then invest further investing in more players winning more so if you like I say you win 10 maybe after a few times of doing it you're then winning 20 and then after a few more times of doing it you're winning 30 so on so forth and eventually you, you're winning 100 players at a time and 8, eight grand a pop so it's not bad it's not a bad way just a little one that I thought may help um, let me know what you think down below and I look forward to seeing you next time.